Welcome back to Ezra's Rat, and yeah, we are getting to the final arc made specifically for the DLC. Hello, 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 hello. No. <laughs> so, as you remember, at the end of a vanilla <laughs> game, this golden spider took over the body of Mifra and created this hybrid. Remember, the original plan was to, for Ezra to fight to, to, end, to give a conflict in order to, because he didn't want to fight their own daughter. However, as you're about to, as you're about to, to see, Due, having, due to the team having to condense the ending in four small episodes in order to condense everything, this plan is completely scrapped in favor of, uh, of the final part of the story, as you will see in a and second. So, this form was completely pointless and just a candy for the vanilla game. What a shame. So, can I ask why, why they decided to make the ending DLC? I That's already it. told you that, G. Basically, CyberConnect2 wanted to make a sequel, but uh, due to the sales and reception, Capcom said, uh uh, if you want to conclude the story, made it DLC. And, and we had to condense everything. And people instead uh, b believed that we were supposedly cut content. To be fair, unlike Mega Man Legends, it was definitely not Capcom's decision to, like, you know, end the original game on a cliffhanger ending. True. Well, yeah. technically speaking, Mega Man Legends 2 ends on a cliff kind of. Yeah. Well, that's exactly why I said, unlike Mega Man, you know, I go, I'm talking about the Legends series. No, but again, uh, CyberCrime 2 wanted to make a franchise out of these, m more titles and everything. Oh, I get that. What I mean is, like, oh, it wasn't Capcom's decision to end and there you go. This, like what you're about to see now, is the Golden Spider's true form. You're ugly as fuck. Yes. Ah. Didn't we just commentate over Sonic and the Secret Rings? Yes. Why are you bringing that up? Because <laughs> it looks like, because it looks like uh, a Razor Gen Super Four. Mm -hmm. Alpha Lele. Yeah. Huh? Mm -hmm. Eh, not nearly. Actually, no. It's got way more arms. And it. And it still looks pure. It's, it, it's based on the, the traditional, if I recall, it's based on the traditional conception in the Enzev of Shiva and Buddha, pretty much. It's a mixture. You're like ah. some incomplete monster. <laughs> Basically, if he said that everything so far was a test, and now he wants Azra to become the new god of the new world, pretty much. Join me, and together we Actually, can have. Surpri surprisingly, no. He doesn't want him to join. Want to want Azra to take his place. The problem is, it's Azra is asking about. Oh my God! I don't know what's spookier. He's actually laughing instead of getting angry. The problem is, Azra just wants his fucking daughter back. go but as you can see since it's pretty much god i mean the, the top god or everything it's at this point is pretty much uh, uh a no chance contest yeah but we're gonna fight him anyway might as well here we go how about you? so okay the, you know all deus will love to do is it's kind of like Kingdom Hearts 2 moves and sometimes spams uh, rays and everything. This boss loves uh, to spam rays and lasers uh, and projectiles. <laughs> it's annoying as fuck. You will see in a second, but pretty much his moves uh, consist of bombarding you with bullets uh, and you having to catch up to him. I mean, shooting him does nothing aside from filling your limit, uh, limit burst. So, again. You need to get close to actually do some damage to him. And even then, okay. you're doing barely anything. Basically, since these are the end... Uh... Oh, there you go. You also get some assistance from Yasha. Oh! oh. But, but yeah, since you're also... Uh, since these are also the final stages of the game, CyberConnect2 decides to make them a lot more difficult than the, game, the vanilla game. Take your balls with you! Right back at you. <laughs> well, he is down for the count, so... This plan might be the whale on him, unless it's a trick. 
Ow. Okay, maybe it was a trick. No, well, basically, yes, sometimes where he just stands on the ground and you can get your opportunity you to attack. You know what? This really does remind me of the final battle of Zemnus in Kingdom Hearts 2. Really? It reminds well, me more of the final battle of Zemnus. He's battles not that agile. He's, not that that agile no, he's very stationary, boss. So. Well, well, I'm talking about the fact that you, you're also controlling the other character as well. Well, oh, sometimes. Well,. It's it's situational and uh, you get full control of Yasha, so it's not like Riku where you add instead of specific set of commands. Ah, come on. Yeah, this is definitely more like the Ansem final boss in Kingdom Hearts One. It's it's right, but it's not, it's not, uh, actually, actually, surprisingly, no, Pedro. It reminds me instead of uh, uh, the Xenath armor fight. Isn't that you the know. final boss in Kingdom Hearts One? Technically, no. The final boss is the oh, Zebra and Xenath. So. I really have trouble remembering the names of those. I'm I'm just referring to the one where he's connected to that huge battleship in that flailing dark space. That, that still looks so lame. <laughs> there we go. Almost oh, there. Actually, yeah, you're right. I can see why everyone remind you of the Zemnus Armor fight in Kingdom Hearts 2. There that's we just, go. That's just the thing, Deji. JRPG developers love final bosses that take place in dark voids. So. Oh, well, stay on your tools because even this game uh, will have something like that. Exactly. Uh, it, 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 it's, a, it's a Japanese thing, Deji, basically. Yeah. Mantra Asura! Again, yes. we go again. So basically, we're, we'll, we'll have the second phase uh, in that form. Punch! And cut. We'll, go, we'll be back after these messages. We'll be back right after these messages. We are yeah, return to Azra's wrath. Hit the lever. Again, the problem is that Ch Chakravati is still a fucking, you know, super god, so at this point he's just literally toying with Azra. Yeah. Ow. Oh Stop god, poking he's me. I think that's what he's doing. Uh, he's literally parrying and covering with just his fingers. Ah. I seriously hope he's in more of his cap on infinite. <laughs> oh hey Mifra. Well, you know, it's just... I guess, it, I guess there are some downsides to that leak being apparently it's, fake. It's fake, it is fake. I yeah, know, Dan. Yeah, I know. Regardless, I'm still positive as raising. I mean, he's such a fan favorite. We'll see. I mean, I knew that leak was fake as soon as they mentioned that Chum Lee of all people was gonna be DLC. Yeah. So yeah, new phase, that means uh, new projectiles and lasers. Oh god. Laser. <laughs> this also spawns these orbs uh, that you need to destroy because Otherwise, we annoy you. Uh, but again, we're more yeah. useless with everything. You can, in this here in mantra, in mantra form, you also have uh, different moves, uh, like this one. Oh, ah, got on the flips a bit. Uh, so, so yeah, thankfully also. So, so this, this time around, the, uh, the first gauge, it's more easy to fill in. Thanks also to the different combination attacks. So what did I, so what have I missed from? Um, uh, Buddha is really the, the the golden spider is really Buddha in reality. That's and what he basically to know. drained me from her power, and even though he was fused with her, now has her <clears> in the palm of his hand. I guess as an energy orb. Yeah, he looks like and the final boss for secret ranks. Yeah, and ba ba basically he wants to test Azra to see if it's worthy to succeed in his place. I, surprisingly enough, Chakravati is not evil, not in a very strict sense of the term. He is literally just a bit of very selfish god who just wanted a candidate to, to succeed in his place so he could go basically retire or die and everything. And, but the problem was, in order to doing so, he just orchestrated an ordeal where billions and billions of people died. And yep. while this is narrative wrong, uh, Azra is just caring again about his daughter, so... And after all, we're just saving the world by a pure fucking coincidence. Damn, I'm, so I'm just 
Basically, Azura, I am just three days before retirement. Hostage, you missed a rare bout of Azura actually laughing. Yeah. Which is always a, always a pleasant sight to hear Liam O'Brien laughing. Yeah. <laughs> The still is probably oh. fucking stupid. God, this Sorry, can you beat that, uh, that you? I thought this plan was stupid. The villains. <laughs> well, to be fair, Dead different religion, and in his case, he's literally, like Tia said, not an outright bad whoa, whoa, so, whoa. Also, Get over here! Yeah, no, I mean, like, he well, Deji, there's, yeah. there's also the fact with Chakravati being... Uh, he, think, could be my own perspective of, like, Dr. Manhattan. Since he's so powerful and so above everyone, he doesn't have a concept of humanity like uh, you know other people have so he sees my pretty much everyone like bugs or anything so he doesn't have stuff like uh, humanity or comprehension or compassion well, he just cares sense. about being retired and everything come on there we go first we let's try this punch. again Times ten. Come on, me. Your daughter is waiting for you. Was that word even created yet? Asura, quickly! This game is doing a number on well, the frame Joba, rate. you know what the term <laughs> bastard means, actually. So. <laughs> But yeah, basically due to the strength he's having, he, Dazra is actually getting really uh, consumed by using too much mantra. So in order in order to break in that shield, he will actually have to transform back into his uh, black uh, berserk form. Uh, you see the one where he's actually fought uh, Yasha before. Uh, however, as you remember, that form is literally him losing his sanity and humanity and everything. And Mifra really doesn't want that because you know it's your power and shit. Yeah. But there's no other direction to go. <laughs> Stop. You use too much power. Your body will yeah, also about that, if he uses it too much, he may also kind of... Take care of your powers. If you use them, you will kill you. Yeah. But yeah, basically, Mifra will make sure... Uh, it will just... Uh, a combination of Mitra and Yasha will just make sure Azura is just swept away from uh, the fight for now. <laughs> there you go, like that. And he's already restored to his normal form. Basically, Yay. Yasha will take care of him and actually prepare him for the confrontation inevitably we will have to have with Chakravati. Back to the atmosphere! So Talk basically, yeah, about a rage quit. Uh, yeah, basically it's implied uh, this is all part of an endless cycle that has been repeated millions and millions of times already. Which is sort of why they put him in that locked dimension as a spider to keep him from doing this stuff. Basically it was disguising himself because he didn't have a lot of power as uh, the Guardian of Naraka. And yeah, basically since he doesn't have any more power, the Varmastra Fortress actually uh, plummets uh, back to the planet, uh, as if we were in enough, you know, disasters. Yep. Now you got a giant robot head falling on your ass. Is, didn't this kind of thing happen in Mega Man X5 or something? Kinda. It's more a reference to the Elf Wars and Mega Man Zero timeline, where the world constantly gets shittier and shittier. Which is kind of contradicted by Mega Man X8. Uh, the the ad canon to everyone, the Jove is bad. The timeline splits into two. Yeah. So yeah, the world is about to end, and Azra is barely time to prepare himself. Charming. 
play some kill a kill music right now. <laughs> and in all of this, Yasha is still a cook because he doesn't know what to do and everything. Don't worry, he will find a way. He will find a way. Life will uh, 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 find, uh, find a way. That was terrible, Jeff Goldblum. Well, I'm not. Well, I'm trying, but it's late at night. Life will. To be continued. Uh, will, uh, wait. That's how you do it. Make so sure yeah, you for pause this, the pause. Uh, so this interlude, Dweebs, it's up to you for because it's Chuck Cravatin speaking, e and I forgot. S. And uh, it's also um, you, Pedro, because it's sure. you. You are me from. Remember? So basically, Wait, hold on, you, I you got Mithra. Mithra. Yeah, actually, yeah, uh, Jova's a point. Okay, you? okay, Jova, you'll be, you'll be. I forgot. Sorry, I apologize. So basically, Tia, you got a bullshit shit rating. Me uh, from subconscious. subconscious. It's simple, Dwebs. Go watch um, Doug's review of Lost World, where Rob gives a um, basic lesson on how to do Jeff Goldblum. Pagoma, but why? Felicia was defeated. So yeah, Gomas also respond. It was pain. Indeed, the source of the Goma was defeated, and thus the Goma should no longer appear. Yes. But in the end, it is just my manipulation of the planet's rage. My creation. So yeah, you can do whatever the fuck rage. you want. If I so choose to do so, I can spawn as many Goma as I wish. That is all there is to it. Eh, whatever. Okay, all you have to do is to do it right now. Whatever. All you have to probably do is pop arrows in their eyes. They're not that hard to defeat. <laughs> Why would you do such a thing? Cause it's fun. <laughs> for the, yeah, for the lulz. <laughs> to find my heir, the one who will guide this world in my stead. Why would you not just let us be? <clears throat> we finally have found peace. Because annoying brats like you exist. Your peace is but a fleeting moment in the eternal span of time. One who can guide your kind on the right path must be chosen. Yeah, we're a good lot of done you've done. If it is a fleeting moment, why would you not leave us to savor it? It is my destiny as the one who possesses power. What a dick. In that case, your power is not needed. Deep Fedora. Not needed, you say? Your precious mantra, born from prayers and souls, was bestowed upon you by none other than me. The irony. You know, this conversation... If the wheel of life which I control is lost, so is the mantra. What do you think will happen to your kind then? This sounds like the conversation of two ten-year-olds arguing with which one is the better Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtle. And look at that, the man study from Leonardo Your da Vinci. Your kind will become mere mortals, and that's not all. He's actually a foreshadowing. Is, well, what you're seeing so now is the, study, is the study for the demigods. The demigods. <laughs> they wish, Deji, they wish. Your father, whose life force is completely dependent on the power of his mantra of wrath, will cease to exist. Mm. <gasps> Rest now. The next time you awaken, you will be next to your father, who will have taken my place as the god of your world. <laughs> yeah. up on that? Father. Chakra Fartin. So yeah, next episode we'll have actually Yasha uh, knowing, uh, organizing a plan of what to do and in the meantime defending Ezra from the Goma. CPR? Sorry, no. <laughs> we'll see that in the next episode. See ya. See ya, everybody. See ya.